So now it's just a case of plugging it in and switching it on. So uh, one thing to bear in mind is if you need reading glasses to see things close up, um, go and get them before you plug it in because it is quite interesting and with a few s within a few minutes or a few seconds even the, the, it will start bubbling and um, just just little tiny bubbles like you get in a can of coke or something like that. Uh, that's all part of the process to get the rust off. Uh, those bubbles are, yeah one thing to bear in mind, those bubbles are hydrogen uh, so if you smoke don't smoke near it and for Christ's sake don't do it in your house. Right okay so plug that in um, the big, like I say, the bigger the item, the, the longer it's going to take. So, I mean, that'll probably give us a couple of hours on something small like that. Either way, that's in there, it's switched on. It started bubbling already, you can see it fizzing away. Uh, I won't bring the camera over because it won't pick it up because it's crap. Um, so, what I'll do, I'll leave that there and we'll come back in a couple of hours and see how it's worked. <coughs> Right then, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, okay, so it is morning, and I was supposed to have come back two hours to check on this uh, after the last instalment. I went in the house, fell asleep, and I've only just woken up 16 hours later. So this has been in there all night, rather than two hours. But it's neither in there. The longer you leave it in, the better it's going to work. Um, so let's have a bit of a look. I'll bring the camera over. You can see what's been going on in here. Right, as you can see, the water's gone all brown and horrible looking. That's all the crap that's come off the, the part that we put in there. That's all the rust and uh, mark and corrosion and all that. Now, I don't know whether you can make that out. You see how the surface is moving and bubbles and things are coming up? That's the, the process in action. That's what I was saying earlier about it being quite interesting. You can actually see it going on before your very eyes. Uh, these orange bits here... They're, um, they're, like I say, they're liquidised rust. Really, really cool. So I'm just going to flick the um, car uh, battery charger off. And we'll lift it out. Right, first of all, lift out this. Look at the state of that. This is why I was stressing, don't get these two mixed up, because the one that's connected to the positive, the red one, is going to end up looking like that. Uh, so what you'll need to do, if you get, you can reuse these, but you have to clean that off. It's it's only soft stuff. Uh, just, you just wire brush that off in a couple of seconds. And this is the part. Uh, sorry, the lighting's awful. Right, okay. Can you make that out? Doesn't look a lot different at the moment. Does look slightly different. But what's happened is, all that rust that you can see is now loose. It was really well attached before, you, you saw I couldn't really scratch it off. So I'm going to put the camera back on the stand and um, just give that a tiny little wire brush in and see what happens. I saw yesterday how the rust was stuck on. Well, now da, 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 it just lifts off. Oops, sorry, getting around. So, yeah, that just flaked off, and so will all the rest of this. Really, really easy. It's all loose. Yeah, a great big chunk there. So on and so forth. So, wire brush, quick going over. surface is pitted uh, that's rust damage you, you're never going to get rid of that 
um, it's still a good solid part. So sometimes you'll get it and it'll come out and it'll turn out that the rust has just eaten it away to nothing and then it's fit for the bin anyway. Um, but that's it. Job done. And we can just slap some paint over that. What I tend to do is stick that on the on the radiator so it really, really dries it out. And then go over it with some red oxide just to stop the rust reoccurring. Salted. No more rusty bits. Uh, no hours of scrubbing and poncing about. Um, if you want to do that afterwards, then you might as well. But, you know, it's up to you, really. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment down there. I think it's there. 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 I don't know where it is on YouTube, leave me a comment, tell me if you liked it or not, tell me if it was helpful, tell me if you've done it yourself and you, you think it's great and of course uh, don't forget to tell me how awesome I am um, and um, yeah don't, don't forget to go and check out ratbike.org and buy a t-shirt or something, support the calls, uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next installment of the Hexagon Project. <laughs>